my name is Solomon, and in this tutorial, I will walk you through how to use our custom Python API. First, open up a terminal by pressing Control Alt T and typing ROS launch interbotics access arm control access arm control dot launch robot model. Here you want to put in whatever robot model you currently have. I'm going to be using the Widow X256 stuff. And also, since I don't have a Widow X256 stuff with me right now, I'm going to simulate one using our Arvis simulator. So I'm going to set that to true and press enter. Okay, so here is my simulated Widow X256 stuff. And if you didn't, if you have, if you don't know how to use the simulator tool yet, we have a video on that. Okay. So now the Python script I'm going to be showing you, you can find it at Interbotics Ross Manipulators, go to the Python demos directory. There's quite a few over there. And the one I'm going to be focusing on today is called bartender. So the first thing you want to do in your Python script is to import an instance of the Interbotix Manipulator XS object. Um, and I'm also importing NumPy here just because I need, I want to have access to the, uh, to the Pi variable. Okay. So all you have to do is in your main function, create an instance of the Interbotix Manipulator XS instance, uh, um, class, and you can see what that looks like. Here is the where the class is defined so go to the go to the toolboxes repository this path and go to arm.py so you'll see here is where the inst the class is defined and there are a few modules um, well a few other instances that are um, included or initialized when you initialize an instance of the manipulator xs object so we have a, a Interbotics Robot XS core instance. This is the core wrapper for the uh, Python API that interfaces with the ROS node that drives the Dynamixel servos. So this is like the lower level basic function type of um, Python API. And you can see that one, it's in the same directory as all the others, just it's called core.py. And all it is is a bunch of functions that wrap around all the available services and topics that are output by the Dynamics or ROS wrapper node. Like for this one, you can see that it's just a wrapper around the set register function. Okay. So going back to the ARM module. So we have that instance, then we have the ARM XS interface instance, which is defined right here. That module is responsible for doing all the IK for uh, controlling the arm. And then we have a gripper instance. If your arm has a gripper and you can see that over here, same folder, just as called gripper.py. And the main functions that you'll end up using here are pretty much just open or close. Okay. So let's go back to our script and you can run you can have a script wherever you want in your computer it doesn't have to be located in this directory all right so you load your instance we're calling it bot and then what we're going to do is set it to go to 0 0.3 in the x direction and 0 0.2 in the z direction this is an absolute position that's relative to the baseline frame um, where uh, the planning frame is it's the ee gripper link frame with respect to the baseline frame so we're going to, essentially this just makes the arm come out of its cradle and then we're going to rotate the waist 90 degrees to the, to uh, counterclockwise. We're going to open the gripper. Then we're going to move the end effector so that it is going forward 0.1 uh, meters relative to its current position. And it's going to lower itself negative 0.16 meters relative to its current position in the Z direction. Then it's going to close. It's going to do essentially this part in reverse. Then it's going to rotate 180 degrees to um, 
negative 90 degrees. It's going to rotate the end effect. It's going to pitch the end effector so that it's doing, it's simulating a pouring motion. Then it's going to reverse that whole pouring action so that it's level again. Rotate back to uh, positive 90 degrees. For example, like it's holding a cup. And then it's going to do the same motion that we did over here where it will lower, let's say, the cup. Then it will open the gripper so that the cup is now free from the arm. And then it's going to reverse that motion. Same type of motion we explained over here. Then go to its home pose, which is when all the joint angles are set to zero, and then go to the sleep pose. So let's, uh, let's run it. And while it's running, I'm going to keep my cursor um, on the line of code that is currently being executed. So you can see that. So we'll compress Control Shift T in your terminal, and we're going to go to Interbotics Workspace, Source, Interbotics ROS, Manipulators, Interbotics ROS, XS Arms, Examples, Python Demos, and we're going to run it. So something to, something to check before you actually run it is um, whether or not this name is the name for your arm. So by default, I have this set to the Widow X250, and this is just the 5 DOF arm. So if I wanted to change that to be for my robot, the Widow X250 6 DOF, I can just write nano WX, uh, sorry, nano bartender.py. This is like an in, uh, this is like a terminal text editor, essentially. That's what nano is. So if I tried to run the script right now, nothing would happen because I don't have the right robot here. So in order to make the right robot, I just have to add an S since I'm using the 6 DOF arm. Then I press Control O to save that, enter, and then Control X. Then I can type python bartender.py. If you're in ROS Noetic, you might have to type python3 bartender.py. Or you can install a package that I believe is called python is python3, which is essentially going to create a symlink between python and python3 so that you can use python the same way as you would Python 3, and this command will work. Okay, so we're going to run that. So we're doing this. Now we're doing this part. Now we're doing this. Close. Go back up. Waste motion. Pitch one and a half radians, negative one and a half radians. Go to the waist, negative 90 degrees. Go down. Open. Go back up. Go to the home pose and go to the sleep pose. And that's how you can use the Python API. And I don't know if I made this clear before, but like here's the bot instance. And then whenever you call, whenever you want to call in a function within the ARM um, access interface, you just have to do bot.arm because this is called ARM. And then if you wanted to operate the gripper, it would be bot.gripper since the variable here is called gripper. And you can also access the Interbotics Robot XS core using .dixl. So you do like bot.dxl and then whatever function you wanted to use in the core um, library, whether it is set operating mode or set motor PID gains. So that's how, uh, that's how you use it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.